Hey, what is up guys? The Common Gamer here and it has been leaked. The Premier League team of the season is going around everywhere at the moment and what I'm bringing to you is the leaked team of the season. This has been, this has come from various sources. So let's go through each card. There's a 95, David De Gea. It was gonna be, he's a great keeper. Will he be in the Premier League next season? Time will tell. You've got that 89 Kyle Walker with a 90 physical, the 88 defence, the 96 pace. That is going to be some card. As Piliqueta, a 91 rated centre back there with Vertonghen. As you can see, the stats kind of differ. Vertonghen's got that better shot, but a more. Well, these kind of stats don't really make sense, so maybe they're somewhere more down the line. He has put a quick, he's got some good dribbling, some good pace there, especially for a centre back with the 86 pace. That'll be a good card to look out for. And Gallo Kante, two years in a row. I'm not sure if you got into the last one or not, but anyway, he's got that 92 rated team of the season card. I think his player of the season is 91 or 92, so it's about the same, probably around the same stats. Marcus Alonso, he's made some scenes this year, he's coming to it. He's got that 88 pace on the left wing back, 92 physical, some good strength. Deli Ali, Saido Mane, Hazard, I'm surprised he's got on there. He hasn't had the best season to his standards. He started the season a bit etchy, he's coming to it to the end. And there, 94 rated, Romelu Lukaku. He has been Everton's carrier this season. He's probably won most of their points. He's the top goal scorer. Will he be there next season? He's crucial with rumours of Chelsea eyeing him up and United. So let's see what happens to him. Harry Kane, he's always been there for Tottenham. He gets them random goals. He's that poacher, typical English striker. So he's going to be up there. Hugo Lloris with Tottenham having the best or second best defence in the league. He was going to be there. He is the god between the pegs. So you had to put him in. David Luiz, good to see him back at Chelsea. He's got a bit of a flair as a player. He's quite entertaining to watch. He's a bit goofy. But overall, he's a great defender. Tony Alderweireld. Kevin De Bruyne. He started off the season quite well. He's had phases where he hasn't done much and then he's come back into it again. He's had a recent in form and now he's got this 95 team of the season card. And that's got ridiculous dribbling and passing. So <laughs> that'll be entertaining. Ericsson, Alexis Sanchez. Now this is a bit controversial. I didn't think he would probably get a team of the season. He has not been great all season. He's had his ups and downs, but I'd say he's had more downs than ups, so that's a bit surprising. Ibrahimovic, he gets better with his age. He doesn't seem to be worsening. It's a shame that he's got that injury, and that might be the nail to his coffin for his career. But hopefully he can come back from that and can give us another year or two of entertainment because he might be arrogant, but he's a great player to watch. Antonio Valencia, Keane, so he's been solid for Burnley. Their home form has been one of the best in the Premier League and that is where they've picked up the majority of their points. Keane being the main man for them and he definitely deserves the team of the year card. Under Herrera, he has been key for Man United. Although they haven't had an amazing season but they've still got through to the Europa League final. Be interesting to see how that pans out. He's been key for them. He, I'd say he deserves the team of the season. Adam Lallana, he, he just comes out with magic. He's a great player. And then Diego Costa, he's done well this season considering the rumours that have been surrounding him with his move to China and all this. It's affected his head. He even publicly said how he, it's kind of confused him and stuff like that. But he's driven on and he's shown to be the grown footballer that Chelsea have tried to make out of him. When he first came, he had so much flair, he was getting in so much trouble. And then he's got his head down, 
and he's knuckled on with it. And that, guys, is the Premier League team of the season. Leaks confirmed. So, can't wait till it come out.